and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, since the Blitz promo does officially end today, and pretty much everything just about has cleared up on the Harvest and Blitz front, let's check the store real quick just to make sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty sure that this is the last thing. Yeah, the last offer is pretty much done right now. So the blitz is officially over. Everything is pretty much gone. We're back to regular normalcy again, guys. So I want to do a market talk going over the market. How the markets? What's the shape of the market from now until after until the beginning of Christmas? As you guys do know, what I like to call Madden Limbo is upon us. We're between a promo going to another promo. The market's typically kind of stagnant. Things are down. Things should be really up. It all depends on how the last promo really hit the market. Now, this promo completely killed the market. So I'm gonna go over the market, see how much it's crashed, see what's coming up, see what trends are happening. I kind of wanna go over all that. Probably drop this for you guys around middle of the day so you guys have something to watch when you guys get out of school and stuff and work so you guys can, you know, auction and enjoy yourselves with the state of the game right now. So, guys, if it was up to me right now, I you start building your coins as of now, I'm really low on coins again. I really gotta find a way to build these coins. Luckily, I have some bundles saved up for you guys. Hopefully, I can get the coins back up because I definitely need coins for the Christmas promo. That is a huge must. Coins there in the Christmas promo. That's my favorite promo of the year, so I gotta have the coins ready to go before the time does come for me to actually have to spend it. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bell, boys. The, the channel's been a little bit low in the last few days. Blitz kind of died down. You guys stopped caring about it a little bit. So, the channel's in a little bit of a rut. You guys can fix it. Anyone new, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Say what's up. And make sure to smash the like button. Can we hit a bang out? The first day of Blitz promo. Let's get 250 likes in this video. Now let's head over to the auction block. Real quick, almost forgot to throw this in. I just want to like announce that I will be doing some sort of 25 days till Christmas sort of thing. So to pretty much wrap that up in an easy words for all you guys, I'm going to be doing daily giveaways no matter no matter what, guys. So every day there will be a giveaway. So do not think that there's a chance you can't win. There's one every day. So pretty much every day from now until the final day of December. And more than likely, I will increase rewards towards the end, like on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve and stuff. So we're going to start small for the first two, the first week of Christmas, because obviously just the first week of November, December, the Bliss promo has officially ended pretty much. We're on like the last offer. And then we're going right into Christmas. So I'm starting it today. 25 days of pood miss, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. But guys, real quick, all you got to do to enter is like the video and comment down below a certain word that I may say throughout. I will make it pretty obvious. I'll say that the video. And all you got to do is spam the like button. So pretty much that is how you enter with the like button and commenting down below. As well, because I will be pulling the comments and checking to see if you like. So pretty much once you do all those two things, you're pretty much done. So run this like button up, guys. It, 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 you know, I'd appreciate it if you guys could get this video to a little over 300 likes. That'd be that'd help me out a lot. And guys, the giveaways are going to work like this just to give you guys the rundown. I'm going to start off with like 30k coins a day and i'll slowly work my way up to gift cards and way bigger coin amounts but for now we're going to start at 30k for the first day so just spam the like button comment down below a certain word that you're going to hear throughout this video and that's all you got to do guys and check out the prices and the trends i bought quite a few things the last few days because the crash was just it was too much not to buy there it really there really was so much that i was able to buy and with the nfl 100s coming out like the dbs this week i kind of wondering should i be selling night train lane i don't know i feel like okay if you didn't power them up maybe you should be selling night train lane because I feel like I'll, I mean, I'll go I'll go over that when we get to them. You guys, you guys get the point. We'll go over that when we get to that part of the video. So 86s are 24k. Wow. 86, 87. Well, what are the 88s going for? Actually, let's go. Let's turn over there. I'm more interested in that. 88s are 42k. Now, if we filter this out, I could imagine we'll find this for a little bit cheaper. Let's get the training values out. I'm gonna do my calculator out. I'm going to do the trading conversion for you guys. So let's see, 39,000 divided by 26.4. Yeah, it's about 14 coins per training. And I've even seen it as low as 12 and 13. So guys, if you ever want a training, you could pick up some now, unless you guys anticipate that it'll crash more during a Christmas promo. That's all up to you guys, as far as what you guys want to be doing with your training. Me personally, I might wait a little bit just because my coins are too low to invest in training right now. But if you guys want, if you guys have coins right now, you're bowling. Pick up some training, hold it for now, because I do anticipate that this Christmas Blitz will use it more training than the prior Blitz did, because like I said, when I even prepped for the last Blitz, the last Blitz that we did, our first Blitz of this year, the first Blitz is a money grab. The first Blitz is like, open your wallets and give me all your money. The second or third Blitz are typically more fun, a little less money-oriented, a little more training and pro, um, currency-oriented. So, 
We're hoping that that's the case for the second one. It's not typically like this blitz. This blitz has always been like that. And I don't think it'll ever really change, quite honestly. We're considering we're probably getting like a million dollars plus this weekend, I don't think they're ever planning to change that format. Yeah, definitely more than a million. What am I saying? They probably made bank this weekend. Let's get to the 1991s. So, the 90s are 88K. And I believe, again, the unfiltered, that's really not the price. I'm probably even cheaper than that. They are 80K flat. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, these cards are super cheap. Honestly, I've never really been a fan of flashbacks. But if you have any flashbacks that you're a fan of, now probably the time to pick one up. They are super cheap. And I can't really believe how much this market's come down the last few weeks. Like, I really wish I had all my coins still and I could just buy my team now. I'd have so much coins. What I should say is I would have saved so much coins. That would have been ridiculous. As we head on down, we do have the Team of the Week drops today, guys, so just stay tuned for that. That will affect the market a little bit. Not too much. Team of the Weeks never, never really kill the market or affect it too much, but they will be impacts. They will be coming out today around, like, I always forget if it's one or two. I'm never home for that time. I always have to make the video uh, when they do the stream because I'm never home at that time, so I'm never quite on top of the exact drop date. I'm pretty sure it's one. I'm about to be honest with you guys. Now, the kickoff guys did come down a lot, guys, so if you do plan to power up Khalil Mack, Aaron Rodgers, Sherman, or DeAndre Hopkins, now would be the time, because Khalil Mack did take a pretty big hit in value after they did that bundle with the guaranteed kickoff um, hero. So just remember that in case you have been planning to pick one of them up. Now, Lamar Jackson has stayed pretty stagnant in price. I want to show you guys this real quick. If you guys have Lamar, something I could recommend for you that I just did was I took, I actually sold my Lamar Jackson because he was going for 300k, which is a over overpriced card right now and i used my power pass i had a 991 power pass just sitting there you could save 300k easily by doing that so if you have the more powered up take this card out just toss the power pass and that's kind of what i did and it was probably one of the best things i've done because i got a lot of coins back for that definitely was a worthwhile power pass to use on All right, guys today's secret word is gingerbread man comment it down below and make sure to like the video and you're entered to win and i will be pulling these for every day of the month so do not think you don't have a chance now let's go over to the 92 to 93s and see what we're rocking with here let's see so these guys were even cheaper yesterday i bought this matt ryan as an investment for 115k and i did sell them back yesterday for about 175 so i did make some coins back on that one the series redux have taken a massive hit kamara consistently sits at like the 150 160 range now levy on bell sits around 200 gronk spends around 230 vick spends anywhere between 200 and 300k who would i buy from you guys vick's not a horrible buy i mean i feel like this year the new Vic might be Lamar Jackson because Lamar's taller. He's right-handed. He has better passing stats. I feel like, and he's faster. So I think Lamar might be the new Vic. But if, you, if you're a Vic fan, you want to have the new Vic when it comes out, they more than likely will give this Vic an upgrade around the Christmas promo, which means it'll probably be like a 96 overall the Christmas promo. So if you want to go with Vic, you can pick him up now while he's still cheap. I mean, you could wait a little bit. He might even get cheaper depending on when Series 4 drops and you Redux stuff. Kittle was a great buy. I picked up Kittle for about 340, 330-ish, and I love him. I picked him up. I haven't really got to play much with him, but I already know that I love my other Kittle, so I can only imagine. Now, Randy Moss, not a fan of. I don't think I'd actually pick up Randy Moss, only because I think Michael Irvin's better. Now, obviously, Randy Moss will get more upgrades throughout the year, but as will Michael Irvin. But, I don't know. It, it's tough, right? It, it is tough because I definitely did want... I definitely wanted to pick up Moss at some point. And I probably still should because he probably will get more upgrades. I'm probably going to want him when he does come out. Especially with his height and speed. I mean, yeah, may maybe you should pick him up. It it's tough. If you have Michael Irvin already, it's up to you guys. Michael Irvin is definitely a beast. But Randy Moss is definitely nothing to, like, be ashamed of. Definitely a monster. So he'll, probably get, he'll probably get a Christmas upgrade. He usually does. More than likely, at least. Now, let's head on down a little bit. And as far as that, I'll get Dion and, uh, Dion and Donald. Definitely other great buys you could definitely pick up. But that pretty much wraps up that. Let's head on over to the other 92s, 93s, and then let's go up to the 94s to go over the Reduxes. Not the Reduxes, the um, NFL 100s and the 94 Harvest players. Dalvin Cook is actually pretty cheap right now, but that is because his stats are not that great compared to like a guy like Barry Sanders. If I compare him to Barry Sanders or any of the NFL 100s, they blow him away. They're way faster, way quicker, way more agile, way better looseness, way better break tackle. And they start with their X Factor, so you really can't compare. I love Dalvin Cook in real life, but they definitely did not do his card justice on this one. I think that pretty much wraps up. When it comes to this range, I really only like to look at the Redux cards. Now, let's send it over to the 94 to 95s. This card is going to be loaded up with quite a few things. Now, Emmett Smith is and Jim Brown are always going to lead the pack in these for now because they were not the best of the two of the running backs released. Now, Michael Irvin going for around 400k. I mean, I'm thinking about it. Should I sell mine? 
I definitely wasted a lot of coins getting them, but if I sell them now, I can at least get back a decent profit on them. I mean, a decent price back for them. I'll lose about 100k, but on the bright side, I'll have coins for the Christmas promo. And quite honestly, I think I'm probably better off taking Randy Moss because I love Irvin. Irvin is a way better card, but I was thinking about it. Irvin won't get a card now, probably to like Ultimate Legends or like the Super Bowl promo, maybe. And I think I'd rather have the next Randy Moss, considering I know I know he's gonna get a glitchy card. I'm gonna want him. And then if we go down Nitro Lane 2, another guy that I might have to actually end up selling, because Night Train Lane, he's great, but his speed's a little bit low. Haven't fully powered up. But Night Train Lane, they're gonna drop NFL 100 DBs this weekend, which means I'll probably end up dropping guys who are faster and have better coverage than him off the bat. More than likely with better speed. So I feel like if I don't sell him now, I'll probably end up wasting money. I'll probably end up just losing value and want to get another guy anyways. So that's definitely gonna hurt him, especially if he's not if he's not one of the better defensive backs after those come out. He's gonna probably drop to like 300k, 320 flat. And then the NFL 100s, who I'd pick up that I think are good prices. I mean, I I personally like Barry Sanders. Eric Dickerson, from what I've heard, is the better one. I'd pick up Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White, Eric Dickerson. Those are kind of the guys that I'd stick with. Eric Dickerson, Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White, Barry Sanders, and Mean Joe or Alan Page, depending on your taste in defensive tackles. And let's go over to Lamar. He's the one guy I did not actually cover. Now, Lamar is tricky because it all comes down to <clears throat> what do you want in the year? Typically, we always want that Vic that might be deficient in other things, but he can always run. Lamar's going to be different this year. I, I, I really do like this Lamar card. I think this card's an animal. I think he's definitely worth picking up and scooping up. I'm going to have him for most of the year, so have no problem picking him up. He might come down a little bit more, maybe closer. See, it's he's a weird thing to value because obviously... He's a little cheap. He's 597 is a little cheaper than he was yesterday, but I don't really know what could keep him up because the sets are going to go away. So that's it. Like, whatever Lamar's were made, were the Lamar's made. I don't really think you can do much more about that. I wish it showed, it showed the number on them. But it did. I might be blanking, just not seeing it. But when I pick up Lamar, I would. I have him fully powered up. And, I mean, he hits most of the thresholds besides throw mid. But, again, with the right things on him, he's, he's really he's really insane. And with the right speed boost and everything, this card's, amaz this card's amazing. It's, it's simple. And when he breaks out into coverage, like, he's going to be a game changer at many other things. And now his passing is adequate enough. See, the issue with this other card was that his passing was kind of deficient in a lot of ways. So, if his running game was off, you might be struggling. But now his passing is really good. So, it really depends how you play. But I really like him. Now, that is about it for the video. I think I did wrap up most of the market. I have quite a few things to work out myself, whether or not I'm going to sell Lane and Irvin. Because I do think I need those coins for Christmas. And I'm going to want the, inev the inevitable Randy Moss that will come out. And whatever else comes out during the Christmas promo. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're already to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. If you, if you haven't already, comment down below what you guys are doing with the market. I think you could, you could buy right now. But I also think that if, you, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not impatient, you could also wait towards the Christmas promo and see what comes out first. But I think you could precautionarily sell too, such as like NFL DBs, maybe a few cards like wide receivers who you know Randy will get like an upgrade during Christmas. That's all on you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Can we get 250 likes in this video? I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.